This is KTVO's Good Morning Heartland. And welcome back. A fireplace keeps you warm in the winter, but the question is, is it keeping you safe? Records show around 25,000 chimney fires occur each year in the United States, and each one could have been prevented if the homeowner had been keeping up with annual inspections. Samantha Croy has an inside look on why you shouldn't overlook the quality of your chimney. When temperatures drop below normal, staying warm and safe can be a challenge. But taking the time to care for your chimney can help protect your home. Although each chimney needs its own special kind of care. I look up in through the damper and I, I try to get an idea on what the soot um, volume might be. In this scenario, it was fairly dirty. Um, so that changes what... Uh, what brush I send up. Dirty chimneys can cause chimney fires, which damage structures, destroy homes, and injure people. Warning signs of a chimney fire include a loud cracking noise accompanied by dense smoke with an intense hot smell. Experts recommend that chimneys are swept and inspected annually, whether or not the fireplace is being used. People don't think about sweeping their chimneys out until they have a problem, and at that point it's too late. Burning small hot fires as opposed to long, cool, and smoky fires will help drive the highly flammable substance known as creosote up and away from the home. When creosote accumulates in the chimney, it has the potential to ignite. The trick is to burn small, hot fires rather than packing it full and letting it smolder down. Uh, stoves that smolder don't burn efficiently at all and they, they create a lot of creosote in the chimney. Now if you're interested in becoming a chimney sweep, you should know that there's more to it than singing and dancing on rooftops. However, there is one thing future chimney sweeps can take away from that childhood favorite. Burt's character in the 1964 film Mary Poppins wasn't lying when he said a chimney sweep is as lucky as a chimney sweep can be. The story behind chimney sweeps being lucky is there, there, was, there was a chimney sweep who was up on a roof and slipped. And as he was falling off the roof, his coat uh, got snagged on the gutter of this house. And a, um, a young woman just happened to see him hanging there and crying for help. So she opened up a window and was able to grab him and save him. And they ended up getting married and, and it was a very happy occasion. Along with annual inspections, make sure to be burning seasoned wood instead of wet wood. Following these steps will help keep your home safe this winter. Reporting in Bloomfield, Samantha Croy, KTVO News. And we have Miss Samantha Croy here this morning. So you went out with this chimney cleaner. Yes. Uh, which I didn't really know. I guess I don't really think about cleaning your chimney. You think about just cleaning your fireplace and then you're done. But it goes way beyond that. So how long does that process take? I think it really depends. Um, they have a whole bunch of tools. Mm -hmm. And the video doesn't even do it justice, everything that we were carrying in and out. Mm -hmm. So I think it just depends on how bad the chimney is. Mm -hmm. And it can take, I think that took about an hour, oh, wow. hour and a half. But if there's something really wrong, then they do an inspection, they send up a video, and they, they check everything out. Interesting. So what are other uh, precautions homeowners that have fireplaces should take? Well, right now with it being so cold, we want to stay warm, mm -hmm. but we want to stay safe at the same time. So one of the big things is the dryer vents. And a lot of people don't realize that not only do you have to clean out the lint from the actual dryer in the home, mm -hmm. you have to check the vent that goes to the outside and make sure there aren't any obstructions and kind of make sure you're staying safe that way because there are a lot of fires that happen because of the dryer vent. Interesting. And it is... It could get a little dirty. Yes. You know, so luckily you didn't get any soot or anything on you, so we're good to go on that. No, part. I was good to go. I got the hat, mm -hmm. but uh, they didn't stick me up in the chimney or check anything out. All right, perfect. <laughs> well, we'll post all of this on our website at heartlandconnection.com with some more tips as well. Thank you so much for coming on. Thank you. And we'll be right back.